Oops, happy holidays, bud man. If you have a 100C battery, is it true that technically an 800 milliamp hour battery will give more power than a 650 milliamp hour battery? Thank you for all you do and happy holidays. Okay, so uh, you have to start with the stipulation that C rating is BS, okay? C rating is BS. They just kind of make it up. Uh, and um, it's not complete fabrication. Like generally, a 100 C battery will have better C, you know, current producing performance than like a 45 C battery. But like there are fine gradations, like 80 C, 90 C, 95 C, 100 C, and it's generally there's not really a reliable way to like test C rating. The manufacturer sells the cells and the cells from the manufacturer are labeled with a certain C rating. The manufacturer has some way of doing that. And we've seen cases where if you open up a 100C battery and actually look at the individual cells, stamped on the cell is 90C. And the manufacturer just the, the the pack manufacturer who purchased the cells and assembled them into a pack just decided to call it a 100C because they thought it would sell better. So setting all that aside, um, the C rating of a cell is related to the physical construction of the cell, and there are things you can do to make a cell be able to produce more current. And there are things you can do to make a cell be able to have more capacity. And generally speaking, those things are in opposition to each other. Okay, And I don't know enough about cell manufacturing to talk about the specifics. But I talked to uh, Matthew Barnard from Upgrade Energy, who knows as much about batteries and cells as really anyone I've ever personally met. Probably he's at the top of that list. And he said, essentially, you can make a cell be high energy density, high capacity, or you can make a cell have a high C rating. The things that you do to make one are in opposition to the other. And so there are C rating is a real thing, and it relates to the, the physical construction of the cell. Um, so it is true that if you have, you know, 100 C, uh, yeah, it is true that a larger uh, cell will give more current, right? That's, that's, that's just always true. Um, uh, uh, when, when I read your question, I thought you were saying, is it true that like a 100 C 650 milliamp will give more current than like an 80 C 800 milliamp? And in that case, yes, technically, except that the C rating might be BS, and it's kind of like, well, you'd have to test the individual packs to find out because there are some 650 packs that will beat some 800 packs, you know? But if, they're, if you stipulate that they both have the same realistic C rating, then yes, absolutely. A larger, a larger cell will give more current. And it has to do with the ability of the electrons to move through the cell, the ability of the cell to move electrons to the terminal, and yada, yada, yada. Things that I'm not really qualified to talk about. But the reality is, yes, larger cells can provide more current. And that's why when you buy a gigantic 20,000 milliamp hour battery for your big Cinelifter, maybe it's only 10 C. Okay? But that's 200 amps because the cells are so gosh darn huge. Okay? So, yes, absolutely. Um, a more, larger milliamp hour battery will be able to provide more current, assuming it's an equal C rating. And if you really want to know how much current or power the battery can provide, you have to take into account both the C rating and the milliamp hours.